go guilty. Yeah, yeah. No, I say no, the nigga, the nigga at the back of the line get the first plate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the nigga fix the plate, go to the back of the line. The last shall be first. Shut the fuck up. Old ass, old ass girl. Whatever. Matthew 22 and 9. Go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as ye shall find, bid to the marriage. That's right, bid to the marriage, man. Right? Because we are the Lord's bride. The elect of the nation of Israel are the Lord's bride. So we bid you to the marriage. Go ahead. So those servants went out into the highways and gathered together all as many as they found, both bad and good, and the wedding was furnished with guests. Right. That's why you see the brother come in and fall out. You got brothers that's sincere this day and the brothers come in and they wicked as hell and they fall out. You know? Yep. Verse 14. For many are called, but few are chosen. Many are called, few are chosen. That's why, that's why. Uh, you ain't got nobody out there with you. Because the Lord is dealing with a small sanctuary. That's right. Many people are going to be called when they hear the name Jesus or Lord or God. They're going to be there they're going to have an ear to it. But the Lord ain't dealing with everybody, man. He's only dealing with a few elect men.
after the cancel of his own will. Of, after the cancel of his own will. So what would the elect be doing in that time? Give me uh, uh, Titus 1 and 1. I don't know. What uh, would the elect be doing in that time? In the time of the end, over a dispensation of, uh, of, of time, when the Lord uh, was prescribed uh, to come back and deliver his people, what were the men of the Lord going to be doing? Go ahead. It's Titus chapter 1, verse 1. Paul, a servant of the Most High, an apostle of Yahushai, Yeh according to the faith of the Most High's elect, according to the faith of the Most High's elect, and the acknowledging of the truth which is out the godliness. And the acknowledging Man. of the truth Man. which is out the godliness. They're going to acknowledge the Man. truth. <laughs> Go ahead. In hope of eternal life. And we'll hope for the whole kingdom. Go ahead. Which the Most High, that cannot lie, promised he before the world began. Because he promised it before the world began. Keep reading. <laughs> But he hath in due times manifested his word through preaching. But hath, but hath in due times manifested his word he through preaching. He manifested the word which the elect was going to get and understand and accept the truth and pray for the glory of the kingdom through what? Uh, through preaching. Through preaching, man. Oh, the Lord keep asking me why not? That's my job, nigga! <laughs> it was predestinated for me to be out here, man. Yep. to me according to the commandments of the most high our savior yeah, that's right man so paul understood it he understood it man and then when you keep reading it said don't listen to them whole ass niggas man you keep reading down about like five or something you know what i'm saying you keep reading go ahead brother uh, no. First Corinthians 14 and 32. And the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets. And the spirit of the prophets uh, was subject to the prophets, man. Meaning if you was a prophet back in the day, man, back in the day, you you, you gonna come back in that same lot. Right. So Jeremiah's back, Ezekiel's back, Malachi's back, Micah's back, Isaiah's back, Paul's back, John's back. Lord coming back to the Lord's coming back, man. Right. Okay? And you gonna be in that life. So ain't no cracker gonna be in a, in a part of the life, man. Go ahead. Real quick. Daniel chapter 12, verse 13. But go thou thy way to the end be, for thou shalt rest and stand in thy lot at the end of the day. Right. Now Daniel and them all them died. So how, how they gonna stand in their lot in the end of days, man? Out. Ezekiel 9 and 4. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst yeah, of the city. Matter of fact, hold that. Hold Ezekiel 9 and 4. Go to Ezekiel 33 and 1. Yeah. And you give me Jer Jeremiah 16 and 16. Because, because we're going to be those ones in Ezekiel is that enacting that judgment. Okay? Yeah, we're going to read about it in Ezekiel. But before we do that, that's something we gotta do before we get that, uh, get to do that. We read that in Ezekiel 33. Ezekiel 33 and 1. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel. Prophesy and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord power unto the shepherds. Woe be to the shepherds of Israel that do feed themselves. Uh-huh. Should not the shepherds feed the flock? Yes, yeah, not the shepherds because we're going to be cussing niggas out, man. We're going to be telling you about yourself. We're going to be telling you uh, how you need to get right, man. Yeah, man. Because a lot of them false-ass uh, teachers and preachers, so-called, in the churches, man, they are uh, hirelings. They're not out feeding the flock, man. This out, they just out feeding their own belly. Cause uh, you had it come out a few a few months ago, a few weeks ago. This nigga uh, Cliff Low Dollar, he was basically begging for money from his from his congregation to get a new goddamn jet. <laughs> what kind of shit is that, man? He not worried about uh, basically teaching our people and warning people of the judgments that's to come from the heavenly Father. Basically telling our people who they are, telling our people who their enemy is, man. 
Yeah, yeah. I they not that nigga's not a shepherd, man. Nigga, I'm gonna dream. Yeah. I'm gonna dream. Yeah. I'm gonna dream. I'm gonna dream about a plane. I'm gonna dream about this. Well, the scripture say dreams lift up fools. Mm. Dreams lift up fools. Okay. You gotta preach up. Bring it out. This is Jeremiah, chapter 23, verse 24. It's like 25. I have heard what the prophet said that prophesied lies in my name, saying, I have dreamed, I have dreamed. Right. Now, I'll try, I'll brother, break that down and say, talk about it. Okay. But let's talk about niggas today, too, man. That's all because all, cause all your uh, beliefs are, it really is just a dream that's going to be gone, man. Uh, because all the guys and shit you pray to is not real. You know? The stuff you lift up is not real, man. Okay? If I can say this too, man, our people, they still believe in the damn American dream. When that's a nightmare, man. Like for one, this nigga, uh, uh, Martin Lucifer King, basically had it to where our people integrated with this so-called white man system. And even before he died, he did an interview with Harry Belafonte, and he said he felt like he, he led his people into a burning house. So we were never meant to be uh, hand in hand with these, the so-called white man chiefly in these other nations, man. Right. But our people have taken hold to the customs and the ways of the so-called white man, and they actually believe in dreams and lies and, and all these bullshit-ass ideas that bring no value. Right. That's why we get out here and tell our people. Go back to Ezekiel 13. Same. Ezekiel 13. Same. Ezekiel 33. You eat the fat and you close. And ye clothe you with the wool, ye kill them that are fed, but ye... No, 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 that's not what is it? 33, what is it? Oh, it's a lot. It's Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, start at 33 and 2. You want to go with 1? Yeah, start at 1. Yeah. Ezekiel 33 and 1. Again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, speak to the children of thy people, and say unto them, When I bring the sword upon the land, if the people of the land take a